Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And of course, as we are um, checking out what's happening with Windows 11 from time to time and with uh, the announcement today of new features coming to um, regular users of Windows 11 in February, we also have interesting numbers. Microsoft says that they have, in the last nine months of 2021, added 100 million new PCs running Windows 10 or 11. That means that the last time we had a number was 1.3 billion computers running Windows. And that is actual machines, not, you know, just like in the past, they would count only licenses, which didn't mean that the license was sold and used. Uh, this is actual uh, telemetry that tells them of machines that are actually running Windows. So the last number was 1.3 billion. We now have a new one today. 1.4 billion PCs are running Windows 10 or Windows 11, according to the last statistics. The other thing, there, there's no official number, so they're not giving us a number of uh, Windows 11 PCs out there but they are giving us a hint that the adoption rate of Windows 11 apparently is three times faster than Windows 10 was when it arrived. And that the amount of people that are clicking the upgrade to Windows 11 is um, really high, apparently, when it gets into the Windows updates. So that's according to Microsoft which would tell us that maybe Windows 11 is actually um, getting you know, much higher numbers at a fast pace, actually. But we don't have actual numbers. It would have been interesting if Microsoft would have said, well, in those 1.4 billion PCs, we know that there are X million Windows 11 machines. So the lack of number, I don't know what it means, but they kind of want to say that the adoption rate of Windows 11 is pretty good. If we refer back to the last time we had a market share number from some of the statistics, uh, which was in December, we knew that there was roughly 9% of PCs running Windows 11 right now. It's, I think, very safe to say that there's more than 10% now that are running Windows 11. If you put that number at you know 1.4 billion PCs, that means that roughly there would be a, at least 140 million PCs already running Windows 11. But uh, this is going to be interesting to see when we have numbers of uh, for the new statistics of how many people are running. What's the market share, actually, of Windows 11? They also say that the Microsoft Store in Windows 11 is visited three times more frequently by users than Windows 10 users actually did. So this is also an interesting um, thing to check out. Maybe it is going to be a little more um, interesting for apps to be in the store at some point. Um, you know, there were ups and downs with the store. There was even a, a moment when Microsoft kind of doubted they would keep the store. But finally, they're going through and the apps that are there are more and more diversified over time. But... Um, Interesting numbers. Interesting to see that the Windows PC is really, really uh, on the rise. And, of course, that has to do in big part to the amazing amount of PCs sold last year, uh, which was, like, at its peak, at 300 and some million new PCs shipped. Of course, the majority of them probably ran Windows 10, but we can safely say that a lot of them were either compatible to Windows 11 and there was probably a small chunk of them with Windows 11 pre-installed. So interesting numbers to see and uh, also some interesting numbers, uh, excitement for, for new things coming up in February. Actually, Panos Panay did say that the uh, advancement in Windows 11 development is going faster than previously taught. And that's why they're releasing a lot of uh, updates for February rather than waiting for the big update in the second half of the year like they wanted to do. So uh, phase two of Windows 11, if we could say, coming up in February at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.